Okay, today's lesson is going to be lesson 16-1, ways to earn money. Ways to earn money, 16-1. Now, uh, this is, can be found on page 797, 797. Uh, we have some pictures uh, here, and we have a, over here we have a little boy in a lemonade stand. We have a little boy taking a nap, uh, a boy and girl here watching TV, and then we have a boy and girl here uh, washing their uh, washing a car. Our directions here says look at the pictures. Okay, so look at our pictures. Which picture shows ways to make money? Which ways to make money? Circle the ways to make money. So with your pencil, you're going to decide which one of these can you do to earn money. Think about it. Which ones did you circle? Hopefully you circled the lemonade stand and washing the car. Okay, let's turn the page, please. And then uh, again at the top, you have a, a group of uh, students or a group of kids that are trying to, uh, they have uh, someone that is selling uh, something for 10 cents, something for 20 cents. So you have somebody that is selling and somebody that is buying. So uh, over here, you have, uh, the word earn. So by selling at a bake sale, we have students that are earning money. They're making money. Okay, and it looks here like they have something that they want to buy. All right, so starting our guided practice, um, it's starting with number one. We have how students circle the, st uh, the student who is earning money. So you have one student that is helping out around the house and uh, it looks like they are setting the table. And then you have one that is a student that just eating. So which one of these is actually earning money or can be earning money? That's right, boys and girls, it's the first one. So with your pencil, go ahead and trace over the dotted line. On this one, we have a picture at the top for number two, and then for number three, we have some money that it looks like we might have to count. For number two, the directions are, circle the students who are earning money and draw an X on the students who are not earning money. Okay, so this is easy enough. So we have some students here uh, uh, and they are doing several things. We have one that is plain, or we have two that are plain. We have somebody that's walking the dog, somebody that's jumping rope, oh, somebody's delivering uh, newspapers, and then somebody that's helping out, it looks like they're planting. So let's think back. What can we say that, will, that we can be earning money, that can be earning money? Go ahead and it says, to circle the students who are earning money and draw an X on the students who are not. So let's do one first. Which ones are the ones that are earning money? Think before you, you circle. Think before you circle. What can I be doing to earn money? So let's start on this side over here, okay? Out of these, uh, the group right here where they're playing, and then we have somebody actually walking the dog. Which one of these could be earning money? That's right, boys and girls. It's the one that is walking the dog. Very good. Over here, we have three groups. We have a little girl that is jump roping, one that is throwing uh, the newspaper, delivering the newspaper, and those that are planting. So on these three, which ones could I say are earning money? Very good, boys and girls. It's the little boy that is delivering the newspaper. And over here, you have the ones that are planting. 
They might be planting for their grandma or uh, planting for a neighbor. So those two are what we're going to circle. Now let's go back and put an X on the student that is not earning, that is not earning. So we have these, this group over here that are just playing. They're not really earning money. They're enjoying themselves, but they're not earning money. And then this little girl over here that's doing jump rope. They might, she's doing some wonderful exercising, but she's not earning money. Okay, for number three, let's go down. So we're gonna put, I'm sorry, we're gonna go ahead and put an X on those. Thank you. For number three, I have find the value of money that Daniel and Jada use to earn. Each, I'm sorry, that used, uh, that earned. Write the number of cents and then circle the one who earned more money. Okay, so now here we have our counting skills. Now remember, we're going to start with the higher value, the coin that has the higher value. So let's remember, okay, we have our coins. So we have our nickel and we have our penny. Now remember, our nickel is worth how much? I hope you said five cents, that's right. So our nickel is worth five cents. And so I have five cents and how much is worth our penny? Oh, I hope you said a penny is worth one cent. So I have five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So I'm gonna write a seven right here and it already has the cent sign, seven cents. For over here, Jada, Jada has, are they all the same? They are all the same. And they're all pennies. So how much are they worth? Right, they're worth one cent. So I have one, two, three. Remember boys and girls, we're counting up. One, two, three. Three cents, so I'm gonna put a three right here. And that was just part of our uh, question. The last part was then circle who earned more money. When I counted up over here, five, six, seven, I had seven cents and three cents. Which one is more? Very good, boys and girls. It's gonna be the seven cents, the seven cents. Now, for the independent practice here, uh, please have someone read it to you. You have number four, five, six, and seven to do. Once you're finished, make sure you have your name on it and the date. Once you're finished, go ahead and upload it to Seesaw. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a good day.